started and review today's agenda. This webinar will uncover reasons for project challenges with change, offer tips for strategic approaches for project success, insights from leading experts in the field, and to find a framework for project success on your portfolios. Every day you get the opportunity to partner with your customers to find solutions to their business problems is a great day to honor the discipline of project management around the globe. I'd like to level set for the audience here this morning. Many organizations today employ project managers, change managers, and staff in organizational change management programs to partner to work together on projects in group discussion about the difference between project management and change management, Sharon Richmond shared this comment that I agree with. Two practice areas must be blended with other business practices so that the needs of each effort are promoted in the leanest, lightest touch way possible. So please jot down your questions throughout the presentation as you think of them. We'll have some questions during the, we well, we'll have some questions um, at the end of the webinar so um, we'll reflect on goal setting and Jessica will field questions once we're done. Ready for change. About why change is hard. So I know many of you are um, here this morning. It looks like we've got about 113 attendees and I know we have this wonderful interface that they've provided us. So I know that you can raise your hand if you click on the hand. And you also have a chat feature. You can chat amongst yourself as well as you can chat, you know, share a comment and chat. If you do, just for your information, if you do uh, put any information um, in the Q question area, um, I won't be able to respond to you right now as a speaker, so I, I see your comments and good morning all. But how would you sum it up in three words? And you can go ahead and comment if you'd like. I'd say it's all about people, process, and politics. As project managers, we all have some degree of experience with change on projects, programs, portfolios, and in your organization is creating value by delivering results and outcomes through people. And today's organizations need to recognize the conscious awareness of the impacts and implications of how projects bring about change. Thought Leader, I'm focused on staying in touch with current trends on change from thought leaders, conferences, and media. In the last few years, there have been some emerging ideas from many conferences and thought leaders, such as the Business Innovation Factory, in Seattle, Sacramento, Seeds of Change, Lisa Bedell, noted futurist and innovation expert, Dean Anderson and Linda Ackerman Anderson, leading authority on change leadership and organizational transformation, and Kitty B. Haas and Associates, consultant and speaker, the world's leading expert in strategic business analysis and complex project management. Change requires strategies, approaches, plans, models, transformation, and degrees of employee engagement. It is common for one primary reason, and that is using an approach that does not fit the type of change that you may be leading. What are organizational leaders doing to make change easier? I did a TEDx conference one summer in Sacramento called Seeds of Change. Hill, co-founder of Exile, shared his quote about change that I felt was so profound. He said, of all his travels speaking to executives, he shared a hard truth with C-level suite. In your organization to change, the change must occur with leadership of self, not occur externally, internally, in process or procedures, or through your projects. Change is personal. And in my experience in public and private sector, this advice should be heeded by project managers in order to be successful in your career. Change is constant and growth is optional. Let's take a look at some definitions. The basic definitions of change and project, it's realistic that organizations are challenged by leading projects and change for four top reasons. Wrong choice of strategy and approach, 
lack yep. planning, stakeholder engagement, and communication. Anderson and Linda Ackerman Anderson, the leading authorities on change, suggest that picking the right approach is the difference between success and failure. In fact, they suggest that using the wrong approach is the common reason for failure. Trends and what other thought leaders are saying. Several I attended the Business Innovation Factory Conference and heard some great stories, experience, and philosophy that projects are a place for innovation, change, and leadership that may include failure and success along the way. They shared their story about failure and how we should look at it through a different lens. Failure should be our driver to innovate, to drive change aligned with strategic goals, and use our leadership to experiment, learn, and improvise within the boundaries of your own culture. Change due to the economic downturn has been slow, but we are making a steady recovery. You found entrepreneurial spirit. Impacts have been global, socioeconomic, active innovation leaning towards agile, and every industry has been impacted. Organizations that are taking the lead on change are PMI, they're offering new services, and through a merger and acquisition of projectmanagement.com, they now have more services. Stanford launched the D School. Startups are occurring in all industries and new markets. Business, they're launching local and global, not online, but in, not online, online, but not inline, and on-demand services are booming. State and local government, particularly here in California, have been downsizing and merging organizations while maintaining services to constituents. Lee Founder and CEO of FutureThink wrote a recent article called Why Companies Resist Change, a book called Kill the Company. Lisa Bedell shared the following data from her research about the top reasons why companies resist change. To say, not being groomed, change fatigue. We are in a leadership crisis, and data so indicates that the status quo is killing organizations and leading to more failed projects. It's stepped around innovation or die. Also said, we must reconsider these five assumptions. They cannot be put upon people like a coat. Must occur from the top down. Can also occur from the inside out, and you, the leader, must go along for the ride and support and champion it. And lastly, training should be simple and easy. Let's look at other thought leader research. Linda Ackerman Anderson wrote a compelling article that defines the three change types of change are for projects, and they have defined as developmental, transitional, and transformational. A change is what we would consider a developmental project change. It's an improvement. Create a project to improve existing skills, process methods, performance standards, or conditions. Transitional change is where you would design a new state with basic change management methods to create new products or services that replace the old. Change is transitional, replacing existing